are watching Q&A &A with Mickey and Shay. And today we are in beautiful San Diego at Seaport Village with our good friend Ava Cantrell. Hi Ava! Hi! Our viewers are so excited to hear all about Haunted Hathaways and your character Penelope Pritchard. Yeah, Penelope Pritchard is so much fun to play, especially since she's so bratty and that's not really me. <laughs> but it's fun to play those characters. It really is. It's yeah. totally out of your comfort zone. How many auditions and callbacks and producer sessions did you have to take in order to get that role on Haunted Hathaways? For Haunted Hathaways, there was only two sessions. Really? Wow. Yeah. That two. Quick. Yeah, it was really quick. And how is it like working on Nickelodeon? Oh, it was amazing, and especially being on Paramount. Paramount is so amazing. And can you give our viewers an inside scoop on what the set of Haunted Hathaways is like? Oh, oh, it's just amazing. And on Haunted Hathaways, since there's so many, you know, ghosts and tricks and they're popping in and out, there's, yeah, there's lots of effects. And you have to do a lot of pretending. Oh, yes, you do. Yeah, it must yeah. be, like, crazy if there's nothing there and you're just like, hi there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Clear air. <laughs> that I'm supposed to pretend is a ghost. <laughs> and yeah, everybody must know how's the set food. It's to die for. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of food do you have? Well, sometimes we'll have like Chinese food, or we'll have just like you know they'll go to like some restaurant or something like that and just like order things. And oh it's gosh. really great. And Amazing. what is your favorite part of being on set? Being on set is just experiencing all the cameras and everything. It's just so much excitement. And then you get to be a different person. It's true. That's fun. That is very fun. That is like it's lots of fun. Who's your greatest inspiration and why? I love Audrey Hepburn. I've always loved her. If she came back from the dead and you could like totally work on something with her, like any project at all, what project would it be? Anything, really, as long as I'm acting with her. <laughs> That's true. But would it be like comedy or drama? Or... Um, Haunted Hathaways. <laughs> Haunted Hathaways. Um, just like one of her movies, like Breakfast at Tiffany's, or just Ooh. something like that. And our viewers really want to know what roads you took to become very famous how you are right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> how did you start out and how did you get to where you are now? Well, I was just seven years old, and my dad saw me performing on stage, and he thought we should put her into acting because he was an actor when he was a kid, oh, and yeah. submitted my picture to three agents. Two of them responded. Wow. And nice. yeah. And Congratulations. Thank you. And if you could change anything about the auditioning process, part of it would you like to change? I mean, it's just, you know, how it goes, but if you could change something, I would like to be able to book more roles, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, even if there was just less people auditioning, so then you would have a bigger chance, <laughs> just, yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little, a little bit. bit. Kick those people out. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> how many casting workshops do you think an actor or actress should go in in a month? Sometimes there's classes that are, like, once, once a week. I think that's good, just to learn a little bit like that. And just when you have an audition, you should just read your lines. And if you need extra help, you should get some help for that audition. Yeah, very true. Because then it'll help you better in the audition room. Right. Yes. And um, what type of advice would you give to young actors and actresses out there who are dealing with rejection from all those auditionings and I've not getting parts? And stuff? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Gina. I mean, there's really a lot of it. So if you if you really can't handle it, then maybe it's not right for you. But if you really love it, then just keep on going, and you'll get something big if you try. Some good advice here. Take Wise that words, advice. people. <laughs> yes. And where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, hopefully a big star. That's what I want to be, or at least working. I want to be working. I'm going to watch you in those magazines in 10 years. <laughs> hopefully, yes. <laughs> and do you have a Facebook and Twitter account? Yes, I do. My Twitter is the Ava Cantrell. And I have an Instagram, which is uh, Miss Official Ava Cantrell now. Ooh. And uh, Facebook, yeah, that's there. And do you have any final last words out there for all of your adoring fans? <laughs> Very big. I mean, there's just so many things you could do out there, and you just got to find what you really love. All right. Well, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, Ava, and thank you, our viewers, for tuning in. See you next time. 
And this is Q&A with Mickey and Shay. Goodbye. Bye. So I guess that it's okay. But they gotta keep in mind that we've been in